Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at the remastered Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger, who is actually correct on the shoulders. Again, has row Y. We have the lovely art right here. We're jumping straight into it now. The actual figure itself, Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger. On the back, I don't know why it's green no more, Kimberly. I, like, I don't know why. But we have the model here, we have the helmet, the morpher, the three blade uh, blasters, the uh, her arrow or power bow, as well as her power. On that side, again, is just the basic stuff of the figures, of the rangers. Uh, top is, it says Power Rangers Remastered, and at the bottom, it's the kind of normal stuff. Let's open up this bad girl and have a look inside. And here is Kimberly. Now, I've got to say, I don't think this is the best head sculpt of Amy. I really don't, it looks, it doesn't look like her in my eyes. So I don't know why that they couldn't really stick with another version of Kimberly. Here is the main body of the actual figure itself. Looks pretty good. Very similar to Trini. I'm going to be guessing like the same one, just repainted differently. But pink arms, perfect. The uh, bolt, uh, the uh, white diamonds, again, are perfect on this. And that's how everyone should be. Not this whole thing of making it look like a hoodie. So we have the kind of like, say, the material being creased on the actual torso. Then we have the pterodactyl lines going around the belt and on the holster. And it leads into the nice diamonds that are on her boots. Same thing is like when we look at the back, you get the perfect. Now this is perfectly done, which I really I do appreciate because I know previous ones haven't been the greatest. And then we obviously have the kind of diamonds on the cuffs, which look all absolutely fine to me. Again, not the, the best. Me, does it look? No, I, I, I don't know why it doesn't look like Amy to me. It's not a, a figure that I'd be like, oh my God, this is the best. So yeah, we're gonna pop on the helmet to see what it looks like. Um, I know it's probably gonna make this a 10 times better figure straight away, but let's pop it on and see. Putting on the helmet makes it look 10 times better in my eyes. I really do like it. I feel like, you know, as soon as you get this out of the box, like if it has the helmet on, you're like, wow, that's amazing. But yeah, they just put the civilian heads on, but this looks really nice. I love the paint job. It looks absolutely fantastic the way it is. The pink and the white, works absolutely a treat and it's i think probably one of the best ones when looking at it it's definitely one that i highly recommend if you can get this one just for the helmet alone to be fair i love that the eyes on the uh, pterodactyl are green and it goes all the way around and there's no flaws in it that i can see that i'm not you know there's probably there are but i can't see any and I think it looks really, really nice. Also forgot to mention the white trim on her skirt. Again, this looks really, really nice and kind of looks a little bit like a fig art, which is fantastic. So let's do the articulation for the figure. So the boots are kind of hard, but they'll kind of go in. Then, oh, okay, that's uh, something I generally thought would have been, one would be stiff and one wouldn't, but the knees and all that kind of flow. Moves around, perfect. Clicks a little bit, but it's perfect. The hands move around like so. And that's it. Oh, hang on, they do bend in if you want. You can bend them properly. So it's kind of awesome. And the head spins around. So yeah, definitely a really nice articulated figure. These are the accessories that you get. So obviously we know there is a Kimberly head, which comes with a Ranger head itself, the helmet. Then we have the power bow. I really wish it said Jude Ranger on there, but obviously there isn't. But you can tell like this would, de this definitely all powers up to make the power blaster. I just don't have Billy at the moment. Um, he will be coming soon, but I don't have Billy just yet. So we have the closed blade blaster, which is absolutely fine. Very similar, or is exactly the same as the others. Then we have the blade mode, which is fine. Then the actual blade blaster itself. Really nice touch, really like it. 
we have the power arrow, power arrow. This should have been, or an arrow, this should have been pink. Like it should have resembled a lightning effect, but it's just a standard gray one. Then we have two hands like so. One is for holding the morpher um, or both of them holding the morpher and then standard hands for doing if you want to do the final pose. This is the pterodactyl morpher. Very, very basic. It does have the pterodactyl power coin in there. And again, finally, we have the kind of the, the pink energy that goes around. Really, really nice. Um, oh, I didn't realize, I thought it was all like, all filled in but it's hollow. But yeah, not bad accessories for our Pink Ranger. And that is Kimberly the Pink Ranger. Now, this is a really nice figure. I generally thought this was gonna be clunky. I thought this was gonna be a bit meh, but this is a fantastic figure. I think once you stick the helmet on, it becomes like the ultimate Pink Ranger figure. We've had multiple Pink Rangers, more than most, I think. Um, in the Mighty Morphing line that is. So having something like this really kind of works in my sort of eye. I think it's a nice figure to have. I think it's one for the collection. If you never picked up any of the other Pink Rangers, this is the ultimate one that you need because I know there've been tons. The Cell Shaded, one that came with Pink Zeo. You had like one or two extra ones at the same time. But I think this is a fantastic one altogether. Definitely one that I highly recommend if you can pick up. I just kind of wish maybe the head sculpt was a tiny bit better, but hey, what can we uh, what can we do in this one? Anyway, I'm gonna bring this video to a close. What are your thoughts? Do you have this figure? Did you pass on it? Do you think this is the best Kimberly figure? Let me know down below in the comments. And while you're down there, why not hit the like button, subscribe with notifications on so you get like top quality videos and also if you're feeling a little bit more generous why not check out the patreon as well as the channel memberships and of course the last one is checking out the merch on the store thank you very much for listening and watching and i'll catch you in the next video i want to say a big thank you to all my patreon supporters and i wanted to shout out kimono cat cura sonata your help goes a long way to help support the channel and if you want to help support the channel the links to my patreon and channel memberships are listed below in the description チャンネル登録、高評価、お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。